Hello, golf friends. Continuing our legend series today with living legend Jack Nicholas on Tour Swing Tuesday. Hi, this is Gary Bates from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. So up here we have Jack Nicholas from a match he played against Sam Snead in 1963 at Pebble Beach. And this is tee shot on the 16th hole. So let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, so ball position forward, right? And uh, what else do you notice there? Quite a bit of flair with those feet, right? So right foot and left foot turned out. Actually, a lot like Sam Snead, who I did in the first video, the first installment of this Legend series. And that's sort of a double whammy. So it gives you more hip turn going back, right? And also allows you to rotate your hips better on the way down. So if you are maybe not as supple as you were when you were 20 years old, this setup is good to get rotation both ways, okay? All right, back into motion, and look at this little move right here. This is another Sneed thing, actually, where Jack was cocking his head to the right. Now, he said he learned this from doing an exhibition with Sneed when he was 16 years old, Nicholas was. And so he adopted it because he said, it gave him what he thought was a more full shoulder turn. Freedom, he said. And then on the downswing, allowed him to keep his head and upper body behind the ball. Very interesting. Okay, going into motion now. We got some blurriness here, but 1963, hey, we'll take it. Um, now, as he gets back here, you're going to see him get some wrist hinge. Now, Nicholas had a late wrist hinge. That was pretty prevalent, I would say, back in his day, um, even before that. Uh, that very much one-piece takeaway, right? I probably see more wrist hinge done, I would say, nowadays when the left arm's parallel to the ground, something like that. But in his, his day, this was just fine. And what else do you notice there as, you, as he goes back? A couple things that really show up. One is, look how still his head is. That was a hallmark of Nicholas. Now, remember, Jack Grout was his teacher, and that was a hallmark of Jack Grout's teaching. So what he used to do when Nicholas was a kid, he'd just grab his hair, Right and say Jack Hood and swing and so Nicholas learned to keep his head still. He always thought that was one of the most important things, and uh, I'd have to agree with that. In fact, I saw him do a clinic once. And he was teaching some juniors. He said, "Guys, if you can't keep your head still in the golf swing, it doesn't matter what else you do. You're not going to hit the ball right." <laughs> and so he was adamant about that. Okay, a couple other things that are interesting. Just a tremendous turn, right? Look at the shoulder turn, the hip turn. Incredible. And that left heel off the ground, right? We see that with a lot of players from that era. And it just allows you to get, you know, more behind the ball, ball more turned, right? Um, as he starts down right here. Now, this is going to be interesting. And the folks, you, you folks that watch a lot of swings and know the history of the game, in the 60s and 70s, this was very common to get this much lateral drive into the swing, right? So they played more with their legs, I would say, moving towards the ball, laterally, not as much quick hip rotation. Nicholas has this, um, as does many players of his era. Now, he changed it over time because, you know, he had a little back problem and that reverse C kind of came into play a little bit. Now, if you check out my Facebook page, you can see a great video Golf Digest did, sort of uh, Nicholas through the ages with his swing. You can see how it changed. But look at the still head. You can see the drive, the right hip really moving off that line. Now letting the right heel uh, release. Now Nicholas bombed it in his day, 30 or 40 yards longer than the average guy on tour. Just smashed it. And some of this was this amazing rotation. It, the lateral and then the rip of the hips. Tremendous speed. Okay, into the follow through. That blurry, but you can see he gets his arms out in front of him, him and then up onto this right toe, right? Now he looks a little to me like he's back on that right foot a little bit. And the other thing I noticed, too, is look at the angle of his left leg. It's kind of going backwards a little bit, right? So it's not straight up and down like I normally would see. And so that's going to also uh, give you some reverse C, which I'm not crazy about. But Jack altered that over time. So hope you like that video. You can check out my Facebook page and see the whole match on there. And thanks for being with us. Hey, if you like a video analysis like this, I can do one for you. So easy to do with the V1 app. Just click the link below to get started and be sure to click that subscribe button, hit the bell and select all. Then you get all the videos as they come out. And thanks for your thumb up, thumbs up and comments. We always enjoy hearing from you. And thank you for being with us today on Tour Swing Tuesday. God bless you and bye for now.